now, amen, he was going to be blessed among many nations, uh, and the seed of her womb was going to be blessed. Yeah. But Sarah had a problem. Uh, Sarah felt that she was too old to have children. Uh, she felt that her husband, who was 86 years old, could not conceive a seed into her at, the, at that age. Uh, but I come to tell somebody, once God gives you a promise, uh, you just got to stand and wait for it to come to pass. Uh, do I have a witness here? Uh, yes, I know sometimes when we receive a word from the Lord, amen, sometimes we go, amen, and we are expecting God to do it. We are waiting for it to come to pass. And it seems like all oh, hell has broke loose. It seems like trouble are to the left. Trouble is to the right. It seems that nothing is changing. Nothing is moving. It seems like things stay the same. But I come to tell somebody when God make you a promise. That it shall come to pass. Oh yes, oh yes. Sarah had the promise. But she didn't have patience to wait for it. Come on now. Well, how do we just hear? Come on. So Sarah, yes, yeah, she got in a place where she was sick and tired of waiting. Yes, yeah, she had a promise, but didn't understand the plan of God. She felt so the minute, amen, if that was minute, that she could help God out. Mm -hmm. So she told her husband, Abraham, why don't you go down, amen, we got a slave by an Egyptian, she's an Egyptian woman named Hagar. Why don't you go down and have sex with Hagar? And that's, I think that's the way we're going to get our son. Mm -hmm. Do I have a witness here? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Yes, and so you have to understand, amen, Brother Keontae, that an Egyptian woman was a black woman. Uh -huh. She was a woman of class. Yes, she was. She had a shape. Yes. She had some lips and some hips. She had some dips and some lips. Do I have a witness here? She was no ugly woman. She was a good looking woman. Do I got some good looking women over here? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, glory to God. Oh, yes. And she told her husband, you go down, amen, and have sex with Hagar. Glory to God. And go have sex with him. But you know what? Amen. She messed up because she made a wrong choice. Do I have a witness here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She hit, she, uh -huh. she was fed up and waiting for God. Oh, yes. Amen. And she tried to help God. Fix the problem and yeah. try to help God. God don't need our help. Yeah. He's going to do something for us. He's going to do it. Yeah. But we have to have the patience to wait on the Lord. Yeah. Clap your hands and give God praise. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. To the CC, we got to realize that our, his thoughts is not our thoughts. Yeah. His ways is not our ways. His timing is not our timing. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. So here we find in Genesis 2, uh, amen, he said, we see a woman here, amen, church that is out of order. Huh? Yes. yes, Sarah miss, messed up huh? yeah. because she made a decision according to her flesh. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yes. Instead of looking to God, she messed up. Yeah. She was looking out of her natural eyesight. Uh -huh. Amen. She made a decision out of her flesh. Yeah. The Bible says again, Sarah told her husband Abraham, go have sex with Hagar. Mm -hmm. Go down and have sex with her. This may be the way God want to give us our son. She was assuming. Mm -hmm. She was guessing. Mm -hmm. She had no assurance. Mm -hmm. She had it in her mind that this might be the way that we're going to get our son. Mm -hmm. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. The Bible says in verse 2 that Abraham Hearken to the voice of Sarah. Mm -hmm. Somebody shout out of order. Out of order. Yes, yeah, Sarah was out of order because she made a decision according to her flesh. Yeah. Abraham was out of order because, amen, he committed adultery with Hannah. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Do I have yes. a witness here? Amen. Whenever you make a decision out of your flesh, yes. it's not God. No, it ain't. Do I have a witness so. here? Amen. Some of us are, amen, we are making some decisions for ourselves and God has told us what to do amen. and wait on him. Amen. But we're trying to help God out. Amen. Some of us, amen, we are making decisions out of desperation. Yeah. I'm tired of waiting. Yeah. How long do I got to wait? Yeah. When is going to happen? Yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. Amen, yes. And whenever you make decisions, amen, out of desperation, you lose your standard. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yes, yes, you lose your standard. Some of you all are single in here. Yeah. You, you got you, amen. God bless me with a boy ass. 
Bless me with a man of God. Yes. But some of you all have lost your patience. Yes. And you're trying to help God out. Yes. God, send me a man. Send me a man, Lord God. I don't care what man he is as long as he's a man. I don't care if he got no job. I don't care if he ain't got no money. I don't care if he ain't got no teeth. I don't care if he ain't got no hair. Yeah. I just send me a man. Oh, and whenever you make a decision out of your flesh, you miss God. Come on, son. You will have a witness Come here. on, come on now. Oh, yes, oh, yes. I don't care. Amen. We are compromising. We are settling ourselves for less. Yeah. In other words, we are out of order. Yes. Hi. Hallelujah. Yes, we, we make bad decisions. Yes, yes. One bad decision to the beaver can destroy your entire life. Yeah, it will. One bad decision out of your flesh can cause you to suffer 15 years. Yeah. One decision out of your flesh can cause doors not to open for you. Yes. One bad decision can cause experience of trouble and turmoil. Yes. So I have a witness here. Whenever you are making a decision out of the will of God and with your flesh, the devil will be glorified in that situation. Yes. Do I have a witness here? Yes. First thing, Hagar lost her spiritual. She lost the spiritual because she caused her husband to go have sex with another woman. Yes. Hallelujah. She made a decision out of her flesh. That's right. Yes, she did. And it was not spiritual. No, it wasn't. Do I have a witness here? Amen. Oh, yes. And Haggai, when he told, amen, she told her husband, go have sex with Haggai. If Abraham should have told him, no, baby, that ain't right, that ain't in the will of God. Right. Amen. We need to just wait on God it. until it comes to pass. That's it. But Abraham submitted to the will of Sarah. Yeah, he did. Do I have a witness here? Amen. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. And Sarah had in her mind, she know what her husband like. Mm -hmm. Out of all the slaves that they had, why did she choose Haggai? Mm -hmm. Because Haggai was a good-looking woman. Mm -hmm. Haggai was somebody special. Do I have a witness here? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, oh, yes. And secondly, she made it. She made a decision physically that was not willing will of God. She called her husband, amen, to fall in adultery. She gave permission yes, she to did. her husband yes, she did. to do that sin. Yes, she did. Do I have a witness here? Amen. Oh, yes, oh, yes. It was legal back in those days. It was mm -hmm. a civil law that mm -hmm. when slaves, mm -hmm. amen, glory to God, they belonged to this mm -hmm. master. Mm -hmm. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. It was legal, but it was not proper in the will of God. Amen. 